I'm Rob Hughes. And I'm Gervier. And that happened just south of what used to be Turner Field in Atlanta's People's Town neighborhood. That's where we find Atlanta News First's Madeline Montgomery with the disturbing details. Madeline. We're right here at Washington Atlanta Avenue, and it's this house right here that police say was shot multiple times. Neighbors say that this kind of thing does happen often here, but they think that needs to change. You just don't know what to expect these days from anybody. A loud wake up call for the people of the People's Town neighborhood. Several shots, then flashing lights. Upon arrival, a 10 year old that was shot in his hand. He is alert, conscious, and breathing. He was transported to the hospital for further treatment. That's all uh, very disturbing. I mean, innocent kids, that's going on most of every day. Neighbors say shootings are common around here, but to hear about a kid getting hurt. It's outrageous how they just don't think about anything. Uh, they just drive by, they do anything, they do all kinds of shooting, shooting up houses and stuff. It's just not right. The circumstances around the shooting aren't really known, other than that it happened around 4 this morning. We do know that the house was shot multiple times, and there were several people inside the house. I'm praying for them, and uh, I'm sorry that it happened, and I mean, it got to be some changes done up here. Today, Atlanta police are going to be going around this neighborhood and talking to neighbors to see if they have ring cameras, any kind of surveillance video that can help them find whoever did this. Reporting live in People's Town, I'm Madeline Montgomery, Atlanta News First. Madeline, thank you.